Today's morning coffee vinyl side, Will Holt, The World of Will Holt, 1957. Will Holt was an early folky, and before I go on, I'll have to state up front. I'm not digging this album. Aesthetically, it just rings hollow to me, and listening to it is a bit of a drag, particularly in contrast to yesterday's Lonnie Donegan spin where Lonnie synthesized elements of blues, country, folk, and jazz into a hybrid form of music that was so compelling that he ignited the imagination of a nation of youth that then inspired the world, Will just sounds annoying to me. And it's not that Will was unaccomplished. He was right there in the midst of the early days of New York's folk scene, in Manhattan's West Village, helping to craft and create the template of the folk singer that would kick off the late 50s and early 60s folk boom. Will Holt's folk trajectory started in the late 40s upon his graduation from private East Coast prep schools and college. He would then study under Richard Dyer Bennett at his minstrel school in Aspen, Colorado, before embarking on the well-trodden path of traveling Europe by motorcycle in the fanciful pursuit of learning folk songs and living the minstrel lifestyle. On his return to America, and after fulfilling his military service commitments, Will found himself at the center of the early New York folk scene in the West Village, where he added new songs to the folk canon and would come to influence future folkies, including the Kingston Trio, the Weavers, Peter, Paul, and Mary. He would later be associated with the music of Kurt Weill and Bertolt Brecht, but it was his early success as a prototypical folkie and more specifically his 1956 recording of Sinnerman that got him his record deal, and he recorded this, his first long play album. And I still don't like him. And that dislike is a bit irrational, but I can't stop thinking about one particular movie scene. You might even be able to guess it as I listen. It's John Belushi's encounter with a folk singer mid-serenade while traversing a crowded stairwell in the film Animal House. Now, I won't be smashing any guitars, but something in the timber and the conceit of Will's folk persona here just doesn't work for me. Something in its artifice is just rubbing me the wrong way. And I'm not sure if this is saying something about Will or if it's simply revealing something about me. At least the coffee was good today.